Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent or a normal to a cycloid. So if you have a cycloid like we are having here and you're asked to draw a tangent or you want to draw a normal to that, you go about it. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe, uh, please take out time to click on subscribe button. It's absolutely free to uh, subscribe. So click on it and let me know in the comment section if you have subscribed. So just comment, I've subscribed and I'm going to reply you. All right, so thank you very much if you have just done that. So right here, we already have the cycloid that we are going to be drawing a tangent to. And if you, uh, if you missed the part one of this video that where I showed out how we draw this uh, cycloid, you can check the description of this video. You are going to find a link to the video on how to draw, how we draw this cycloid. So also that video is going to be popping up at the end of this video. So you can decide to also watch this video to the end and then you are going to see how we came about drawing this cycloid. So in drawing a tangent to this cycloid, what you are going to do, let's pick a point where we want our tangent to be. So our tangent can be on any point on the cycloid. So let's, let me pick this point, this point. So maybe I want my tangent to be on this point. So let me call that point. So this is the point that we've picked. So let us just notice, let's call it point M. So let's call that point, point M, where we want our tangent to be. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to pick our compass and with the radius of this circle the radius we used to draw this circle and for this circle i use a radius of three centimeter so let me confirm if my compass is still on three centimeter so it's still on three centimeter so what i'll do is from this point m i'll draw an arc on this line so this is the line that is coming from the center of the circle you can see towards the right so i'm going to draw an arc on it so we had the arc is touching that uh, line so let me note it so this is it so i'll call it point o point o so the next thing is from this point o with the same radius of three centimeter that i use for the circle so if you are working with a circle that is not three centimeter then you just use the radius of this circle so i'm going to draw a circle So this is the circle. So if you notice that the circle will definitely be touching this line that we are having here. So where it is touching, let me draw a straight line. So where this the circle is touching this particular line here, it will definitely be touching it. So if yours is not touching, probably there's a mistake somewhere. So it will be touching this line. So let me call this line point N. So what I'll do is I'm going to join point N to point M. Now this line that I've just drawn, this line NM is our normal. So let me write it on it. So this line here is the normal. Or let me just um, draw an arrow so that it can to indicate it that this particular line it represents our normal. So if you are asked to draw a normal to a cycloid, so this is how you go about it. But don't forget, we are looking at a normal and a tangent. So now we already have our normal. For us to get our tangent, don't forget it's from this point. What you are going to do is you are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to the normal. That is the, a line that is at 90 degrees. So in doing that, what you are going to do is you are just going to apply the principle of drawing a perpendicular line from a given point on a straight line. If you check the playlist on technical drawing, you'll see a video that explained that but let me show you here so in doing that you pick your compass at any convenient length on your compass you place it on point m so you draw a semicircle so you place it on point m so you draw a semicircle on this um so from this normal you're going to be having something like this so with the same length, with the same length, you can see I didn't change it. You place it on where it is touching the normal. Where the semicircle is touching the normal, you are going to draw an arc on the semicircle. So on that arc again, with the same length, don't forget with the same length, you place your compass, you draw another arc. So now we are having two arcs on the semicircle. So what we are going to do is from this point of intersection where this axe is touching the semicircle, we are going to place our compass there again. So we can try to use the same length again. We draw an arc. On this other point, we come here, place our compass, we draw an arc. 
So now they are going to be inter they are going to be an intersection here. So that point of intersection. So this point of intersection, we are going to draw it to point M. So I made it stick. So you can see now this line that I'm just drawn now represents our tangent. So let me write it on it. Tangent. So now we have our normal. So this line is normal, and we have our tangent. So before, uh, before you go, before we round up on this video, it's important to know that you study the video very well to understand the step. Instead, don't do the mistake of let's say you want to draw a normal uh, or a tangent on this point. Once you know the point, you just pick your ruler and then you draw a straight line. No. There's a way to go about it, and that's what I've just shown you in this video. So with this, now I believe you should be able to draw a normal and a tangent to a cycloid. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, please, please click on the subscribe button. Now it's absolutely free to subscribe and subscribe to this channel. And if you missed the part one of this video where I show how to draw a cycloid, uh, towards the end of this video, that video will be popping up here. So once you click on it, it will take you to that video on how to draw a cycloid. I also leave a link in the description of this video. So if you have any question or any comments for me or any video request, just leave them in the comment section below. Also check out our playlist on technical and engineering videos. There are a lot of videos there that I believe will be of help to you. So in the description of this video, I'm going to uh, leave links to other videos like how to draw a parabola, hyperbola, an epicyclic, involute of a circle, an helix, you know, and how to draw their tangents. So just check the description of this video too. You are going to find uh, videos like that and I believe it will also be of help to you since you are drawing a cycloid. I'm sure you will also want to know how to draw an epicyclic, an hyperbola, a parabola, and how to draw their tangents. So that is it for this video and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.